Welcome to the latest instalment of our on-device research academy videos. Today I'm joined by Jessica Murray, research manager at on-device research, and she's here to explain some of our latest benchmark findings around rebranding and some top tips to ensure a successful rebrand campaign. So Jess, can you confirm some of your top tips when it comes to running rebrand campaigns? So firstly, and I'd be most important, is to be prepared for the challenge. There's risks associated with rebranding, having to rebuild brand associations, distinctive brand assets, and brand salience. And it will take time, no matter how big or small your brand. That's why it's important to prepare with customer feedback, also looking into market research with your competitors, and finally, primary research, your own primary research projects, so you can get a better understanding of what makes your rebrand more successful. And I think finally, it's just important to think about the brand challenges you have and whether rebranding is the right thing for you or to do it on a much smaller scale. Okay, that all makes sense. Uh, but when it comes down to a rebrand being your only option, what does the data suggest in terms of best practice? So there is good news, and that's that rebuilding initial awareness is actually the easy part. Looking at our collection of data, we've seen throughout our rebrand studies that driving that initial awareness of a campaign um, can be done for our brands. As an example, we did a study for an energy company who managed to shift awareness in their first initial burst of activity, 12%, which is really strong. Um, in the same vein, we did a study for a entertainment company. Um, they were being much more targeted in their, in their campaign and in their rebrand towards a certain market. And we found that among their key audience, they managed to significantly shift awareness 10%. So awareness can be done and it can be pushed quite far. Okay, so that sounds good. But what's the case when it comes to other advertising measurement metrics? So as we know, while awareness is important, overall brand success is reliant on driving those lower funnel metrics as well. And that's where our data shows it gets a bit more harder to do. So from our previous studies, we've seen that the detriment and problems lie in driving those lower funnel metrics. And by lower funnel metrics, I mean consideration, purchase intent, in fact, for a recent rebrand campaign from FMCG brand, as we were measuring consideration, which we do on a consideration scale from only one I'd consider right down to I would never consider, we saw a 6% decrease in people agreeing with the statement, it is the, brand, it is the only brand that I would consider. Um, what this suggests to us is that the rebrand has impacted loyalty onto our um, FMCG brand um, and ultimately left them more vulnerable and open to competitors taking market share. So when we looked further down the brand funnel for our brand into purchase intent, um, on a likelihood to purchase scale, we saw a notable decrease in people agreeing with the statement that they are po probably likely to purchase from the brand. And what we did see was this moved not into the negative part of the scale of unlikely to purchase, but people were starting to agree with that they were unsure on whether to purchase from the brand or not. We then looked into this even more deeply and among the, target, the brand's target audience, key target audience, we saw a significant uplift in the agreement with the statement that they were unsure whether they would purchase from that brand or not. What this suggests to us is that the rebrand has made people less sure about the brand. It's broken some of the brand associations, distinctive assets, the brand seems new to them, and so they are unsure whether they've purchased the product or not. Fab, that all makes complete sense. So finally, are there any other tips that you could give to help ensure the most successful rebrand campaigns? So the final mistake is failure to announce the rebrand in a significant or impactful way. As we spoke about previously, um, although awareness is important, shifting those lower brand funnel metrics like consideration and purchase intent um, is also key to driving that rebranding success. In summary, rebranding is a long game and not something you can just achieve through one rebranding campaign. You need to take into account consideration and purchase intent along with awareness to ensure overall brand success.
Thank you, Jess, for that great overview on rebranding campaigns. For more top tips on successful rebrand campaigns, then please visit our blog at ondeviceresearch.com.